today's episode, we have a semifinal of the EFL Cup first leg, and we got a league matchup after that. And the transfer window is open, and we've done a couple things. Let's get into it, guys. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. So we've done some stuff transfer-wise. I thought we had sold two players, but we've only sold one so far. Another one is on bid, but it's not a big deal. Ryan Gold has left. He's gone to Norwich for two or for ten point two five, which I'm happy with. I mean, we signed him on a free. We sold him for ten point two five. He wasn't making it into the squad anymore. That is good news. I want to look at some of these players though that's on loan before we get into the match. Matthew Lyons is a guy that I'm interested in as well. Um, left wing player can play up top as well. He's playing at Rotherham right now in the championship. Put out a 6.93, looking good. If he can continue to work, he may be into the squad next season. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I wanted to look at. Where are they? Harvey Ferris is at Doncaster. He's in. He's getting better. He's getting a lot better. I think he's pretty close to being on the first team. Playing in League 1, putting out a 7.32. I would like to see him one more season on loan, maybe in the championship, to see what he does there. See how good Doncaster are doing in the league. Ooh, 23rd. Not looking too hot for them. Not a good sign for them, but uh, Harvey Ferris is looking good. We're excited to see that. Owen, he is at Newport, playing in League 1. Made the jump up from League 2 last year. He's not having as good of a season, which is disappointing. I'm excited about him. I want him to get a little bit better so he can get into the team. We've got a couple other guys, but those are the guys that I can remember off the top of my head. But Matthew Lyons, I'm I'm thinking he's uh, getting close. I'm thinking he, I think he really is. He's currently operating at League One, but he's really doing good in uh, the championship. I mean, looking good there. Like I said, and then the other guy, the Owen, not Owen, uh, Harvey Ferris. Harvey Ferris is the guy I'm really excited about. I want to see what he can do in the championship. We do have. I, th I think there was two more guys I wanted to look at. This guy right here. He's not ready yet. But he is at loan on League One. Doing okay. I want to see him make the jump to championship as well. There was one other player that I wanted to look at. Finley Robertson at Coventry. Two and a half star player. I think he's the person that's closest to making the jump up for us. 21 year old. Looking really good in the championship. Next season, I would expect him to be in the lineup. But enough talk about transfers for right now. Hopefully we'll have a player signed though before the next match. He looks really good. I don't think he's going to come to us, though. The squad we're putting out there today, though, is Grief in goal, back four of Mira holding Tosin and Gomez. In the middle, we got Vera, we got Kajust, and we got Berg. On the right-hand side, we got Sar. Left-hand side, De La Cruz. And up top, we got Delap. Looked at Delap's contract. It's still like 2026. 20, so he's, uh, I want to sign him because he's, he's homegrown uh, by club. That would be very nice to have him full-time in the squad instead of just loaning him in every season until we get some guys that's homegrown, you know. Been sharp in training, you know. I think the confidence is going to be uh, a big factor in this matchup. Well, uh, yeah, if you if you get to this stage in the competition, you, you dream about the final. We got the first leg here. Uh, next episode, we'll probably do the second leg as well. Maybe we can win it. Doubt it. We're not that good, guys. We're really not. We're really not that good. We've only, we're on a good run, though. I wouldn't be surprised if we get knocked out against Wolves. Wolves have been a, a team that we kind of struggled with in this save. They've uh, they've played us really tough, put up some good matchups against us, and as you can see right now, they're doing a little bit better on the statistics side of the game as well. Okay, no no highlights the first half. Maybe one. Okay, here we go. We got a highlight. Gomez to throw this in. He gets it to Berg, who gets it taken away. It's a hard tackle. Is that going to be a Penalty? I think it's. I don't think it's going to. I think it was right on the line. Maybe we'll get lucky. Sar will probably be the person that takes this penalty. Oh, okay. We got a penalty. Sar to take it. Sar, I think, is our leading goal scorer this season. He's looking for a spot. He steps back. He picks his spot. He takes the shot. He gets it in. We're up one nil. In the thirty eighth minute, it's his tenth of the season. Very nice. That's what you love to see. I think Sar was a good signing. I'm happy with his performances. He's uh, stayed healthier this year. We've limited his minutes 
I think that's helped him out on the injuries a little bit this season. Okay, going into half, we're up 1-0. We're going to pump the fist, talk about the media a little bit. You know, you get it. Seems like this save, that is like the only thing that Liam wants us to talk about is the, uh, the uh, media. Mirror to throw this in. A poor throw. It creates an opportunity for Wolves and they cannot capitalize on it. Mira is not having the best of games out there. That was that was pretty poor. Oh, Gomez is healthy, by the way. He's played in the past two matches and has looked okay. I'm excited to get him back in to help on that left-hand side so De La Cruz doesn't have to play as much. Tosin gets it into Gomez. He's looks in, looking for Delap, but okay. I guess you just... You're colorblind with the, with the jerseys. I mean, we're wearing a bright pink kit. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty bright, guy. Wolves have an attack going here. I think we need to get a stop on this. Get a foot in. Grief stops it. Holding clears it. Good play by the defense there. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, De La Cruz and Mura is going to be the two guys that we're going to go ahead and take off. They're wanting to just take holding off. We're not. He had a good, good save right there. I don't want to punish him. Yeah, I was wanting to play Gomez, but apparently I didn't bring Gomez into the lineup. Uh, UGX will come in on that left-hand side instead. Do we do that? Do we do that? Sibley's going to come in for Mura. Kajusta is going to go back in the on that right hand side to help out there. Not ideal, but it will. It'll work. We we still got to do work on our fullbacks. Our defense is still shoddy to me at best. I want to get Sar out of the lineup as well. Renero is going to come in there. Renero has been a bust. I mean, he's equaled out on his potential. I hate to see that. I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to be our savior. But he's. But if we can do like we did with Ryan Gold with him, where it's uh, you know, we signed him really cheap and we sell him for a profit, that will be. Hmm. I really hope y'all didn't hear my dog right then. I really hope you didn't. I'm going to have to play that back. That's disappointing. That one to one. That sucks. I mean, we didn't deserve to win this match, though. But Wolves, like I said, they have played us. They've played us well in every matchup. It seems like we've had against them. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not mad at the performance, mainly because uh, it was an away matchup against a side that we struggle against. So we're just going to say we was unlucky tonight. Before we get into this match, we do have a little bit of transfer news. We did end up selling Jason tonight. He has left. He went to QPR. Whoop, I don't. I, I don't want y'all to see that. Just cover that up. You're not... Okay, apparently I can't click right. Transfer history. We've sold Jason Knight. He went to QPR for 3.3. Uh, a little bit less than what I wanted to, but... He wasn't ever going to make it in the club, and I just thought we could get the money from him. He was only valued at like 3.3 .3 for us when we had him. It's sad to see him go because it's Jason Knight. As a Darby, Darby fan or Darby supporter, I like Jason Knight, so... Sad to see him go. Now the only people left, I think, from the original save on the senior squad is uh, Lee Sibley and Lee Buchanan. I don't see anybody else on there that sticks. Well, Ujiek. Forgot about Ujiek. Ujiek as well. So we do still have three players from the original squad. Um, see how their careers develop. I think Sibley uh, will probably be the one that's going to make it. Him and Ujiek. I don't see Lee Buchanan making it with this team. Uh, I don't think he's good enough, but we got to have him in the squad. Time for the Aston Villa game. This is the lineup we're putting out there. Grief and goal, back four of Muratos and Gomez and Hysaj. In the midfield, we got Vera, Berg, and Sibley. On the right-hand side, we got Sar. Left-hand side, De La Cruz. Up top, we got Delap. Hopefully, we'll win this match. Get a little bit of a better result than the last one. It was disappointing. I know it. You guys know it. We went down to the wire. It hasn't been a couple hours since I've recorded that bit, so I am, you know... It's fresher for you guys than it is for me. I'm just here. I'm concentrating on my own team. I'm not really worried about Man United. I think they'd be all, all, all worse off without him. Let's get this match underway. Aston Villa with the ball here. Looking like it's their highlight. It actually looks like a real highlight. Berg takes it away, though. Gets it back to Amira. Over to Vera. To Amira. 
kicks it. All right, we're kicking it around. Sara with the ball kicks it back to Grief. Gomez, Tavera. We're playing out of the defense in this one. De La Cruz with the ball now. Cuts it over to Berg. Runs across the center line. Gets it up to Sar. He's got space. He's got some area to work with. He takes the shot. He gets it in. This is 11th of the season. Assist by Berg. We got 1-0 early on. Not even a full minute into the match. Um, the player that you guys seen, uh, as you also, he plays on the, the right wing. Uh, if we do end up getting him, Sar will probably move over to the left-hand side. Which... I'm not mad about because that we get a little bit more on the attack. The player that we originally talked about, I want to show him to you. Let's just actually do that now. Okay, how to? Uh, I wanted to show you this guy's this guy before, and I forgot. Uh, I think he signed with. Who did he sign with? He signed with Dortmund. Yeah, this guy right here, Cruz, uh, wonder kid. He was a right wing player. Look how good he was at 18 years old. Look how good he was. Got him for 9.25. He would have been a game changer for us. I want to see how his career develops, though, because he's at 18 year old. He is a very good player. I'd love to know what his current ability is and his potential ability is. 30 minutes by, we're still up 1 0. Patrick Berg getting into the assist. Two SAR earlier in the match has been the lone goal. We're sitting fourth right now, though, guys. Look at that. 41st or 40, 41 points. Next closest to us is 37. Gomez gets the ball here. De La Cruz gets it in. His his fifth of the season. Gomez with the assist. We go up 2 0 right before the halftime whistle. And the fans are loving it. They're, they're all going crazy. This is a good result right here. This is what we wanted from the last result. But, you know, playing Wolves, we're not going to beat them that often, it seems like. Go ahead and skip it since it's done. I haven't even allowed them a shot yet. The defense is dominating this match. Outstretched arms. Very pleased with the performance. Keep it going. I feel like that works a lot better than the media talk uh, that they always want us to do at halftime in this save. I want to look this offseason, too, in uh, upgrading the scouting. And I think it's time now with this club that we actually start doing a little bit of regen hunting for some English-born players. So probably around intake day, we'll go in and we'll scout a bunch of the regions, see if there's anybody we want to try sniping away from another club because we need to start developing some English talent that can actually get into the squad. We've got a couple of players that I feel like can get in there now that um, in a couple, maybe one, two years. But next year is going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think, to meet some of the squad registrations for uh, some of the, the – international tournaments so we got to keep that in mind i did want to sign will hughes that was another player that i wanted to sign that we talked about i talked i kind of discussed him in the last episode i didn't say who it was but he just signed the deal so transfer window opened up he signed the deal and uh, i was like okay never mind and then there was another player i wanted to sign but he also signed a deal Yeah, I wanted to sign Will Hughes just because he was training in club. I thought he would be a good replace. Originally, when I sold Jason Knight, I thought, okay, well, we'll bring in Will Hughes to be the replacement for Jason Knight, and then I think it'll be an upgrade. But it didn't work. Muir has the ball now, though. We get in the 68th minute. Saar with the ball. He had the goal earlier. He takes another shot. I'm going to finish on it. We're going to make a change after this highlight, though. I may go ahead and take Saar off. That's one good thing about bringing in, if we bring in the player that we've seen in the transfer history, we bring in him in, it'll, it'll kind of give another attacker, to let Saar not play as many minutes, which I want to do. I want to limit his minutes this season because it seemed like he got hurt a lot. And this season we've been limiting his minutes. He's, um, what the heck did I do? I clicked something, didn't mean to. But he didn't have the injuries like he did last year. We're going to go ahead and take him off, though. Star, my man, great match, great, great, great performance. Uh, Renero is going to come on for him. Berg as well is coming off. I want to bring on Kajust. And we'll probably take Sibley off as well at some point, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
78th minute. Grief with the save. I think we're going to win out of this matchup, fellas. Grief bombs it forward, looking for Delap. He gets it down to Renero. He kicks it back, trying to find Sibley. Poor pass by him. Not sure if that was deflected or not. Now Aston Villa has a chance to attack. They take a shot. Grief with the nice hands. Does a good job saving it. Bringing in a little bit of competition for Grief this offseason was really good because it seems like he's been playing a lot better than he was last season to me. So I'm happy about that. Thinking... We're just going to go a little bit more defensive, not not terrible, but a little bit more defensive in these last ten minutes. I know we talked about taking out Sibley, probably should have, but I want to give, get, I want to get more defensive in this these last ten minutes, and I think Sibley can do just as good of a job as uh, whoever we had to take out Camara. There's another player I'm interested in signing this offseason if we can get that done. I think if we get into the Champions League, obviously we're going to have a huge reputation jump. And um, that'll help out the squad. You know, we'll uh, be able to sign a lot better players. That's been one of the issues. I think we just haven't been able to sign great English players because of the our reputation. But that was a great result. I'm happy with the guys. Well done. If you enjoyed that episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.